Hi, I'm Liam from Matrix Technology Solutions. I'm going to show you a very simple way um, to approach the teaching here of the new A-Level Core Practicals. Within the physics activities, there are three specific experiments um, which I'm going to focus on today. The first two are very similar. Firstly, you've got the correct construction of circuits from circuit diagrams using DC power supplies, cells and the range of circuit components and also the design, construction and checking of circuits using DC power supplies, cells and the range of components. Um, so I'll approach those two within the same experiment and then a little later I'll go on to show you the use of a signal generator and oscilloscope including volt division and time base. Um, so what I've got here is some Loctronics kits. All of the kits here are, are available from Timstar. The first kit that I've got is the LK9071 um, and this includes a range of components such as meters here, so you've got analog meters, um, you've got a range of resistors, switches, simple components like connecting links, LEDs, motors and so on. This is for teaching at Key Stage 3 and Key Stage 4. And then over here I've got the LK9329. The 9329 is our A-level specific kit, so this allows for teaching of physics at A-level. Okay. Um, the kits come complete with curriculum packs and they include a range of worksheets which, and also teacher's notes um, for hours of uh, electricity teaching within physics. So first up I'm going to show you about the uh, construction and design of circuits. So what I've got here is um, the baseboard and the baseboard it comes within the electronics kits provided. Um, I've connected up here the DC power supply. Um, this uh, power supply again comes with the kit, so I've set this at 12 volts. You can set this um, at a range of voltages between 3 and 12. So I plug that in and ensure that's turned on. I've then got here a 250 ohm potentiometer. Um, so very simple connecting links which just snap in to the uh, pillars here on the baseboard. Um, I've then got my uh, mes bulb which is screwed into the bulb holder here. And then finally completed the circuit with two analog meters. First of all, um, the milliammeter here, and secondly, the voltmeter, which is placed into the circuit here. So as I turn the potentiometer here in the circuit, what you'll see here is that the bulb begins to light. Okay, I fully turn the potentiometer, and what the students can then do um, in order to check the circuits is take the readings on the analog meters. So we've got the milliammeter here reading at 100 milliamps and we can also take the reading there on the voltmeter too. Okay. Now with the range of components that are available within the electronics kits the students are also able to design their own circuits. They can take those from within the worksheets that are provided or design their own. Um, for more accurate readings, what you can also do is connect up using the 4 mil banana leads provided with Loctronics, your multimeters, and take digital readings that way. Okay. But the nice thing about these analog meters is that the students start to see um, the increases and decreases uh, within uh, the current and also within the voltage. Thank you.